25 kilograms and wasting no time at all getting straight into the action. We've got George Davis fighting out the red corner representing Shinkick New Tie, coming straight in with that front kick representing uh, let's say Shinkick and Woking versus Tristan Tate of Storm Jim in the red and white trunks. Should be electrifying stuff here with Tristan Tate, is uh, the brother of the legendary Andrew Tate, multiple time world champion. That'd be very interesting to, uh, to see if their styles are comparable. Strong turning kicks from both these guys, not wasting any time with the power shots here. And these are K1 rules, so their coaching will be ever so slightly different in terms of the tie boxing matches, so we'll be able to maintain it and hold it as long. Strong shots there landed from both fighters. Punches. Nice knee there to the midsection as well. George Davis just going to have to watch that hat there. There's a penny in the back of the head. Really powerful shots here being unloaded by Tate. There doesn't seem to be any sort of feeling out process here whatsoever. It's just straight in, unloading the heavy artillery there. Nice right cross, nice left hook, followed by a nice low kick there. Well put together combination by George Davis. Trunks. Chris Bachelor just keeping a close eye on the pinch action here. Make sure we adhere to the K1 rules. A psychic there from uh, Starting to appear from his nose. Reaching right across there, not quite finding the target. Nice body kick there again, landed by Tate, finding the mark. Not going to take too many of those. Before they slow you down, that's for sure.
seems to be telegraphing these just a little bit too much now at this stage. I mean, this is for an ISKA British K1 title. Both of these guys want it. Both of those guys want to put the medal around their waist. And you can just see them both just throwing everything they've got. They do look like they're starting to tire incredibly. There's still another round to go. Conservation doesn't seem to be on anybody's agenda right now. A bit of a lacklustery kick there. And again, these punches seem to be following suit. Doesn't seem to be any snap from... Oh, I say that just as Tate lands a really nice right cross. And before he had a chance to build momentum... Looks like Davis has lost his gum shield there. I'm sure it has fallen out. You see Andrew Tate there in the blue corner screaming some instructions at his brother. These guys just think to be looking for that one big shot. Legs on Tate there, just got on over a little bit wobbly. Through fatigue more so I think than actually being hit with anything. Bloody face of Davis there. That's the end of the second round. Third and final round of the scheduled ISK British title fight. Tate seems to be uh, the pressurizer early on in this one, taking the fight straight to Davis. Nice little flurry of punches there. Again, not really an epic amount of power seems to be landing on these, but even so, at this late stage of the fight, you get caught with enough shots. It could definitely be a game changer or a deciding factor. Slipping more now to throwing just one or two big shots and then one fairly telegraphed high kick. It'd be nice to see him putting these shots together as fluidly as he was early on when he was saying three, four punch combinations and that low kick just coming straight in. Yeah, nice flurry of shots thrown there by Tate. Just don't know if he's quite got enough energy at this stage to deliver a decisive blow. Davis covering up, Davis covering up. He looks like he could be in trouble. He obviously took his turn on the line. I don't know, he's, he's gesturing something to referee. I'm not sure what it is, but he's covering up. He's not really throwing a great deal of that. Keeping a close eye on these two. K1 rules, so the clinch is going to be different to the tie boxing belt. It's not going to be a sustain. Work rate seems to be higher from Tate at this point. Davis really looks like he's struggling. He looks like he's gassing. continually. Davis already looked like he's really struggling with his energy levels, really struggling for breath, his mouth's open, his gun shield's falling out twice already. Has Tate got enough to finish it? Tate looks like he's completely dominating this round. I'm not sure if he's got enough to put the fight away. This one very well may go to the judge's decision. Never said we were going to get the cook there, landed by Davis, but again, not followed up with anything of any meaning. Everything he throws, he's not throwing singular shots, he's throwing one, two combinations at the very minimum, very more. Very often it's more three, four shots. Finish off with that knee to the midsection. And that's been a continuous theme of this whole fight. There's been a consistency there on Tate's part, which I think Davis has ever so slightly lacked as he slowly starts to tie. And that's the end of the fight, cracking stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, after an awe-inspiring three rounds of professional cave on action, the judges have reached a split decision. Ladies and gentlemen, 